Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about the marriage candidates in Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home. In Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home there are eight marriage candidates, however depending on whether you choose a male character or a female character there's actually only seven marriage candidates that are available in each file. Why does this happen? Well, in this game, you can actually choose between being a female farmer or a male farmer. And then the one that you don't pick, they're actually going to be a villager in the town. So if you choose the male farmer, that means that you can marry Christina. And then if you choose to play as the female farmer, then you can marry Justin. Now, somebody had asked me, oh, I wonder why you can't play as a male character and also marry Justin, but that would honestly be really weird <laughs> because it's the same model. Um, so yeah, it kind of would be like dating a clone or dating a twin or... <laughs> You know, it would just be really, really weird. So yeah, that is not in the game. <laughs> So since we've already been talking about Christina and Justin, let's dive right in and start talking about who they are in this game. Let's start by looking at Christina's profile. Christina is Willis and Olivia's daughter and childhood friend of the farmer. With the farmer back in Alba, she strives to revitalize the village, which has fallen into decline. So yeah, you're only going to meet Christina if you choose the male farmer. Then, if we look at Justin's profile, it says Willis and Olivia's daughter and childhood friend of the farmer. With the farmer back in Alba, he strives to revitalize the village, which has fallen into decline. So you can see that the profile is the same. And full disclosure right now, I've been playing the beta version of Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home. So maybe they're going to correct this in the launch of the game, which is coming out um, this Friday, the 23rd, if you're watching this video as I post it. But yeah, in this version that I have, you could definitely see <laughs> that even for Justin, it says that he he is their daughter. So yeah, they're probably going to change that to son um, with a patch or, you know, maybe even on launch day, they'll already have fixed that. But yeah, the main thing that I wanted to say here is that these two characters, um, as far as I have seen, their dialogue is the same and they play the same role in the story. It's just one of them is a male character, Justin, and one of them is the female character, Christina. You can even see in these two different profiles that they even have the same likes and dislikes. The first thing that they like is those strawberry pansies. So what is Christina slash Justin like personality wise? Well, of course, they are the childhood friend of yours as you're playing the game. And so most of the conversations that you have with them, they are just very optimistic. They're very bright and sunny. And yeah, they're going to reminisce about your childhood together, talk about the memories that you guys share and that type of thing. In terms of like personality traits, I would say that they are very optimistic, they're very friendly and outgoing. And it's funny saying that, I know there are a lot of farming sims where like all the characters, they're all kind of like optimistic and friendly, but in Home Sweet Home, that is definitely not the case. <laughs> Okay, and that is all that I have to say about Justin and Christina. Um, it's kind of a complicated situation <laughs> regarding them, so I'm not sure if I explained it 100% perfectly correctly or if you guys completely understand it. If you still have any more questions about it, you can just drop it in the comment box and I'll try to explain it in another way. Next, let's talk about the two brand new characters in Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home. The male character, his name is Hugo, and this is the profile for Hugo. Hugo is a chef from one of the city's top eateries, who now runs the Piemont restaurant. Coming from the city, he is having a tough time adjusting to the local culture. Hugo, I guess he has really expensive tastes because he likes lobster and diamonds. Hugo, of course, he's a little bit on the independent side and he likes to do his own thing, but as you get to know him, then he's going to start to listen to other people's opinions a little bit more. He's very hardworking and he has tried really hard to get where he is, um, but yeah, he needs just a little bit of help to learn how to listen to others. And the new female marriage candidate, her name is Harriet. What is her profile? Well, she is the daughter of Abraham. She had a bit of a sheltered upbringing, so she is naive and even a little selfish. She is a little weary of people from outside the village, such as the farmer. 
Harriet, on the other hand, she is very introverted and she is very about doing her own thing. And yeah, she's not going to be friendly to you when you first move to the town. And some of her quotes, they're actually a little bit on the rude side, which I personally, I found it kind of funny, <laughs> but yeah, that might turn some people off of her. Also, sometimes she says things and I'm like, wow, this girl is so ridiculous. So yeah, Harriet, I feel like she's going to be a lover or hater type of character. Um, also, surprisingly, it doesn't say in her profile, but she is like the fisherman type in this game. Um, she's like always on the beach and she walks between the beach and the pond and she likes to fish in those two places. So yeah, and also she really doesn't want you like encroaching upon her space, both in terms of talking to her and also she doesn't want you to fish and kind of like, you know, steal her thing. But yeah, maybe if you become friends with her, then maybe she's going to change her mind. The last four marriage candidates, they are all returning from previous games. And for now, let's start with the two who start out in the village. The first one is Jean. And Jean, she was originally from A Light of Hope. Now, it's funny because I played A Light of Hope, but I honestly don't really remember Jean all that well. However, after meeting Jean in Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home, I feel like her personality is a lot different. In this game, Jean, she is really, really introverted and shy. Her official profile is she publishes the village's only newspaper, the Alba Times. She is very shy and does not feel comfortable talking to people. And then her likes are clams and a gate. Um, you can kind of tell from her look and by the fact that she runs a newspaper and the fact that it says she's shy. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Maria in Harvest Moon 64 where she likes books but she's really shy and she has some things that she's passionate about but because she's shy she's not really like so open to sharing them in the beginning. Which, I don't know, those of you who are big fans of A Light of Hope, you can let me know in the comments down below. Is that what she's like in A Light of Hope? I don't think so. I think in the beginning of A Light of Hope, she's like helping you throughout the main storyline, and she's the one who kind of like introduces you to the town. So I don't really remember her being shy. And another character, one of my favorites, who's returning from One World, is Brayden. Brayden's actually kind of funny because he's one of the reasons I bought Harvest Moon One World because I really liked his character design and I was really excited to get to know his character. Um, he's back in this game, but yeah, he lost his facial hair, which me personally, I'm a little bit sad about, but you know, whatever. His profile is he grew up with the farmer and Christina attending the village elementary school that only had one class child of Andy and Penelope. He is not too affable, plus he is quite reserved, so it is hard to tell what he is thinking. Now, with Brayden, I actually knew him very well in Harvest Moon One World because he was the one that I married in Harvest Moon One World, and so I would have to say that personality-wise, he's kind of similar to his old character. Um, I feel like there's slight throwbacks to who he was in One World. However, in general, he's completely different in terms of his family background and his profession. Um, in One World, he was a rancher. He was the one who was raising cows and things like that. But yeah, in this game, he's just a carpenter. They say that he is reserved, but I don't know. For me, I didn't get the fact that he's like as introverted as Jean and Harriet. But yeah, I guess you still would say he's not really on the super like extroverted side. But yeah, I personally, I really like Brayden. His likes are Margruette, which I think is how you pronounce it, hot milk, and fruitcake. So yeah, I also like that Brayden likes fruitcakes. Okay, now we're on to our last two marriage candidates, and these are also two returning marriage candidates. And I have to say that for some reason, the female marriage candidate that I'm going to reveal right now, she was never revealed in any of the previous um, information about the game. So I didn't even know who this was until like yesterday when I finally unlocked her. So yeah, I guess I'll just tell you who it is right now. It's actually Malika, who is also from Harvest Moon One World. But I do have to say that I think of all the characters, her character design is the one that's like the most upgraded. Um, I liked her design in Harvest Moon One World, but her Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home model, just like her look, her hair, everything, I just think it looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so I was really impressed when I saw her. What is her profile? Well, she is the owner of the gift shop.
She was so impressed by the local specialties of Alba that she decided to move to the village. She is good-natured, talkative, and makes everyone around her feel at ease, although she can also be aloof and elusive. Again, I replayed Harvest Moon One World not too long ago, so I remember her character quite well as well. And I have to say that, again, she's really different in this game. In One World, she was a little bit like stubborn, and she was like willing to live off on her own for a long period of time. So yeah, she was really out there in Harvest Moon One World, but in Home Sweet Home, she seems toned down just a little bit. But honestly, yeah, I kind of really like both versions of Malika, and I think of the female marriage candidates, I think Malika is probably my favorite. I don't know, I just really like her character design, so yeah. The last marriage candidate is Jacques, and Jacques is returning from Harvest Moon, The Winds of Anthos. Now, I am somebody who I didn't even recognize him because I think he is the one who's like the most changed from his original appearance. But yeah, it's definitely the same character. Character design wise, I'm not really sure which one I prefer, the Winds of Anthos Jacques or the Home Sweet Home Jacques. I think it's close, but personality wise, I definitely prefer the Jacques in Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home to the one in The Winds of Anthos. In The Winds of Anthos, he was like an assistant to someone else, so I was just like, eh. You know, I want someone who's just focused on me. So let's look at his profile. He is the grandson of Frederick and Tessa. He grew up in the city. Friendly and polite, he arrived in Alba from the city upon graduating from the College of Agriculture. And he likes goldfish. So as I said, these two characters, they're not unlocked in the very beginning of the game. What you're gonna have to do is you're just gonna have to keep completing the main quest. And then as you complete the main quest, then those two characters, they're eventually going to move to the town. The first one to move to the town is Jacques. And then you're gonna have to complete a whole nother chapter. And then Malika is going to come after that. And the chapter before Malika, it personally, it took me like a long time to complete that chapter. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to date Malika, you're probably gonna have to wait a little while before you can unlock her. So yeah, those are the eight marriage candidates in Harvest Moon Home Sweet Home. Please let me know in the comments down below which of these characters is your favorite. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.